Give him the forecast. Omega level threat detected. Ancient sands, heed my command and reclaim these relics of hatred. All right, girl. Well. <laughs> girl. Girl, I was having a melt down, bitch. When I tell you, girl, girl, sometimes you just have to unload, girl. <laughs> and I do mean that in the, the, the way y'all thinking and the way that my nasty ass is thinking. Sometimes you just need to unload. Okay, hello, God. Because after that video, I wore this lowly bottom out, honey. I took out all my frustration, honey. And when I tell you, I was like, oh, girl, sometimes you just need the relief, the release of stress, girl. Hello, God. And <clears throat> still pissed the fuck off. I'm still very much in, you know, that vibe, but I'm much more, you know, relaxed, girl. Okay, I'm on my way to the gym. It's kind of late. Um... But I just kind of slept all day and just trying to like <laughs> bring some type of peace and balance, girl, hello, God, because like I just cannot thank God for, you know, like this being my outlet, because like if I didn't have like a positive way to like release onto the child, I swear, <laughs> I swear, like sometimes, you, you know, the gym, shout out to the gym, shout out to just eating better. Cause I still do believe like the, the, the toxic trash that you eat, you know, has a lot to do with your, your moods, your behavior. You know, I'm not there yet on that much of a consistent level to just be eating whole foods girl. And you know, all the, all the grand organics and all the natural things, but I'm working towards that. You know what I mean? But child, when you just have all these things just coming at you all at once, girl, and it just seems like it's one thing after the other. And it's just like, girl, what did I do? <laughs> in a past life girl like who was i like what the fuck you know like what what kind of treacherous evil cunt must i have been to deserve you know like you go to thinking that way and it, it's just oh girl it'll just be a lot girl and you just be over it girl like your cup really runneth over bitch like oh girl like a bridge over troubled water just lay me down bitch you know what i mean like I'm, you just be done completely at your wits end um but i am grateful that life does provide stress relievers hello god and um let's just say that bottom was very happy very 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 happy and probably one of the better moments i've had hello god um probably just because i was just raging out and i was just laying i was just like wow I gave, honey. Oh, you know, you you ever just think when you're at your peak of doing something, you know, it does things kind of get kind of mundane and boring because you're just like, okay, you've done, you feel like you've done it all, or you feel like you've you've reached a peak of pleasure. But every time I be surprising myself, child, I wore that lowly bottom out. Let me not disrespect him like that because he was a champion. A champion almost three hours three hours and I just was like oh he taking this and there were some times that I felt I felt a little bad because I was uh, y'all know I'm the don I'm I know yeah I know it's still hard to believe for some of you girls out there in the world yeah that I'm I'm the dominant you know when I'm playing the top role like I'm you know and I get a little rough you know um but again, that was all talked about way beforehand. So, you know, he said he with he with the shit. So, I right, huh. Just as long as you ain't, you know, very clean, very well put together. I guess, honey, wore that motherfucker out. <sighs> Three nuts later, you know, you. This was like the first time that I actually laid down in the bed next to that person, like after I was done, you know. And this is the first time that I've went, <laughs> then got mine three different times and still had the energy to go. So that's how I know that it was, I was definitely like, all right, let's use this moment to level me the fuck out. And I appreciate that. 
And when I mean like he, it was, it was really, you ever get to the point when you're doing things, you're just like, damn, I should have recorded this. <laughs> yes, girl. You know, I ain't gonna lie. I do that when I'm in the car by myself and like I hear a beat come on. Sometimes I be in the mood and I be freestyling because y'all, I don't know if y'all know that I, I really do enjoy music to the point where, you know, I used to sing back in the day and write music. Um... But I also used to like freestyle and, and, and rap and shit like that with the niggas, you know, child, back when I was playing DL, honey, okay. <laughs> um, and I was pretty, I was decent. I ain't got no lyricist or nothing like that. But, you know, I come out with the little punchlines real quick. Um, it just takes me forever to write a rap. Um, and it also depends on how you feel. But like, you just feel like, damn, like you be, I was, I be, sometimes I'd be spitting some real shit and I'd be like, damn, I should have recorded this. Cause once I say something, a lot of times I just be forgetting, you know, I do forget. Um, but yeah, honey, when I was, you know, you look back at your conquest and retrospect, you know, and then you just go to thinking like, damn, I should have recorded this. Cause this was some wild, crazy, just everything. And you know, what's, you know, he was a hood bottom child. And uh, shout out to Astro, but it wasn't Astro, y'all. <laughs> okay. Um, bitch, we're playing Boosie. He, well, he was playing Boosie and, and I was just like, I this is so ironic. This is so funny, like to me, like playing Boosie. You know, Boosie don't like the girls, child. We playing Boosie, child, Boosie, the whole album, the Boosie Badass album. I was like, yes, honey. That's another reason we should record it and then tag Bootsy in that shit. Like, yeah, nigga, we're, we fuck you, nigga. We fuck the old music, nigga. Hello. Hmm. One more for thing for his ass to think about. But yeah, child. <clears throat> and I appreciate y'all because y'all don't be judging me. What? What? Yeah, y'all don't be judge child. That's my nephew. I don't know. He, I'm a child. I'm weird ass nigga. I swear, girl. <laughs> Just weird as fuck. I be thinking I'm weird and kind of off, but girl, this boy is something. <laughs> girl, I don't know. I don't know, girl. This generation is cooked. I'm just saying, though. Oh, thank you. So, but anyway, child, yeah, I appreciate y'all not judging me, girl. And, you know, that's just, that's just, a, I'm a, in the words of T.S. Kendra, I'm just a real bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like at the end of the day, like, why be one of the girls that come on these motherfucking social media streets and try to be fronting? Like, there's more people that's going through than not. There's more people that under, out here that understand the struggle. But a lot of people are afraid to have those conversations because they're, Oh, they're going to judge me or I'm not, you know. No, if you come out here like a like a Madame Fraudulence, Ted the girl, or a JC or someone who's fronting for the cameras and then the girls look at your last lady be like, oh, girl, you're not as grand as a bitch. You, you know, like, so never start off being fake. I, I just feel like start off being real. And, you know, this is the type of content commentary that I provide, girl, so... I don't be worried about it. I know at some point in life, there's always a hating asshole. You know, there's always a raggedy bitch who just, you know, this ain't for them and that's fine. But my core audience, y'all know who y'all are. I love the fuck out of y'all and I appreciate y'all for giving me grace and letting me have these moments where I can be vulnerable and share some very real fucking life experiences, girl. Because again, I know I'm not the only one. When I check the comment sections on videos like the one I previously posted, it's, a, it's so relatable. Like, girl, like, yes, we get it, girl. You're not alone, bitch. Like, and I appreciate that. So, shout out to y'all. <sighs> shout out to life, honey, because, girl, I'm going to get you together, ho. Like, I just, sometimes you have to be at rock bottom. Sometimes you have to be at the bottom of the well, bitch in order to realize the only way huh, only where left to go is up you know you 
You can't go left. You can't go right. You, you can't go anywhere else but up. So, and like I said in another video, the devil dwelleth in dry places. When you're down and out, like that's an opportunity for you to come through. And I've been trying to let people know, even though I be sad and depressed and angry and I go through, you know, my emotions and stuff, I have the emotional intelligence to observe myself in those moments to be like, all right, girl, you got to reel this the fuck in. Like, I, I feel like I do, and I'm learning to have more control over that because the last thing you want is for those negative emotions to truly manifest to the point where you're acting out on these emotions. Girl, you will never catch me out here. Hello, God. You will never catch me out here. Girl, I when I was a JIT, I told y'all I was on probation. I beat the fuck out of trade, girl. I beat the fuck out of trade. Beat the fuck out of trade. He pressed charges, girl. I was like, what, 15, 16 at the time? Bitch, beat the fuck out of him, girl. And assault and battery with a deadly weapon, you know. And even though I'm youngest, that's still a felony. The way I used to fight, the way I used to just be triggered, girl, at a drop of a dime, I was ready to go, girl. I did not win or lose, bitch. And that's a dangerous asshole. A win or lose type of bitch is a dangerous type of bitch. You say, do, if I feel your vibe was anywhere near negative towards me, I may have misunderstood, girl. I may have misread the signs. I'm still going to go off in your shit. There were, girl, I and mean, it would land me, girl. I violated probation like two or three times, girl. Sitting, in, girl, <laughs> sitting in the detention center looking foolish. And then when I look at the, the jail shows and, and, the, and the jail reality shows and things, and I know people close to me that have been d done real time, girl, and the stories that they tell, girl, hell no. Nah. How can you be an outspoken bitch behind bars? Hello. No, ma'am. <laughs> How could you be talking about free the girls and your motherfucking ass is locked the fuck up? And I'll be damned if I allow other human beings or life situations to do me so dirty to the point where I'm at risk of losing my freedom. Hell fucking no, bitch. Like, no one has time for that, girl. <clears throat> so my advice to people is find you an outlet, a positive outlet. You know, when I was younger, I was into the whole martial arts and boxing and weightlifting. And, you know, now as an adult, I have the gym. Um, you know, I create content. <clears throat> You know, like there are smoke cigarettes, girl. Sometimes you just need something. I mean, this ain't positive by any means, but girl, it definitely helps. Even though I do believe that cigarettes do add to stress levels, but every time I have one, I feel a little bit calmer. It's giving, it's occupying me in a way. But I, before I get to the gym, I really just want to have this talk real quick. Um, P. Diddy and this Cassie video. You know what's killing me is that people, two things, and I, I'm kind of everywhere with this thought, so stay with me. I really do feel like why we're not surprised. When the video was released on TV, Hello God, we weren't surprised. But I'm also angry that we weren't surprised. Hello God, does that make sense? I, you know, the fact that we have normalized this kind of behavior, you, you know, the fact that I really do feel like if the DA really wanted to prosecute this case, the fact that it came out and said because it's beyond the scope, the time of the incident, the statute of limitations will not allow them to press charges. But I would like to know, what is the statute of limitations on kidnapping? Hello, God. What are the statute of limitations on preventing someone from leaving with violence? What about attempted murder? 
Because are we all watching the same thing? Any one of those blows to her body, more specifically her head, could have killed her. Are we watching the same thing? Hello, God? I just want to know. That wasn't an assault. That was an attempted murder, in my opinion. You guys would go for that in any other situation. Hello, God. Can we tell the truth? Wouldn't you? Let's tell the truth. In any other situation, the prosecutor would have found every possible angle to prosecute this case. And I'm going to tell you what my thoughts really are. These are just my personal thoughts. I keep telling y'all this. Cassie is not through. And the reason I say Cassie is because, girl, miraculously... This very clear, clear, clear video comes out of nowhere. Yes, I know a lot of people are trying to draw the correlation between the raid. Oh, okay, they just raided his shit. So maybe, no, nah, trust me, baby. No one from over in that can't re release anything, at least in my perspective, right? Cassie, did he, she's smart. Whoever she's talking to, whoever she's getting her advice from, she's playing chess, not checkers, bitch. If it were, well, I keep on standing on this hill, girl, if it were not for Cassie, I don't think that we'd be anywhere near where we're at right now. Cassie, girl, she opened up the floodgates, girl. Yes, the fuck she did. Cassie, when she filed that lawsuit, it was so smart to go after not only just him, but his businesses, all of these things that are attached, knowing that this would, this would cause some type of pressure. To the point where, girl, she's attacking the business now. Other people's money is at stake here. Hello, God. That was smart. That was very tactful. And I know it's not just it's not just her. There is someone that is assisting her with how to go about doing this girl. And then you want to tell me within 24 hours, this man settled out of court for an undisclosed amount. There had to have been some type of evidence, irrefutable evidence that was so damaging to him. But because Cassie knew she could not come at him for those things. Does that make sense? But still holding on to copies of the evidence. And because there was probably an NDA signed, court ordered, you can't talk about this shit. There is someone who is assisting her with slowly releasing the information. Again, these are just my humble thoughts. Cassie said, girl, I'm gonna take my power back and I, I know that I can't put my name on this. Maybe one day later on down the motherfucking road, I'll write a memoir, bitch. Hello, God, but I'm playing chess, not checkers with you hoes. It was stated that, you know, I don't know if this is true, but allegedly Diddy paid someone $50,000 to get rid of the video. So this is why people are thinking that during the raid, they found the video because we know that Diddy is one of those nasty ass narcissists, um, the filthy, filthy, filthy Harvey Weinsteins of the world, right? Where you will keep trophies to go back later and reminisce on your conquest and your filthy deeds, you know? So I'm, I wouldn't have been, that's why that story is believable. But I'm telling you, Cassie said, bitch, forget me not, honey. I'm telling you, it's Cassie. It's Cassie and someone else. I don't think it, it could be her attorneys, but this is someone that is extremely smart and extremely tactful that she has on her team. And the fact that there are no breadcrumbs, there are no real paper trail, there's no digital trail leading any of this exposure back to Cassie and her team. She took, I guarantee you, honey, mama took some of that money and hired her some type of hacker, some cybersecurity hacker bitch and on the dark web or something, girl. And mama is out here handling business. And I'm not going to lie. I don't think that this is going to be the only 
we're gonna slowly start to see this year is the year of exposure girl it's the it's the year of truth and justice bitch i'm telling you all the girls that have been doing wrong late in the midnight hour their filthy misdeeds everything is coming to a head for them that tree has been it's shaking girl it's shaketh <laughs> hello god And the girls ain't playing. The girl said, forget me not. I'm going to slowly burn you at the stake, bitch. Like the witch and devil that you are. I'm just saying, though. Mark my words. Cassie says she's not done. Imagine you, and I don't blame her because think about this. Like if I can't get you any other way, this is the best way to get a narcissist. This is the best way to get someone like P. Diddy who loves the limelight. Look at that fake ass apology and you know everything else about him and he sought therapy. Let me tell you something, girl. Those are the words of a lying ass narcissist, girl. Bitch, you're only mad because you got caught. You're only mad because now the world, they may have heard of your abuse in alleged filthy ways, right? But to actually see this now, it stains the brain of anyone that watches it. And if you're a good person, if you're not a, along the lines of the filthy, filthy ways and behavior and thought processes of people like P. Diddy, this will fucking repel you so much, it'll make you wanna go find him and beat his fucking ass. Let's tell the truth. So now that people are actually seeing this, and we can't, we can always go back and see it again because it is, it is on the World Wide Web, baby. But again, fifty thousand dollars. P Diddy didn't have that tape. I guarantee you, Cassie and her wisdom, because P Diddy probably was still coked and drunk out of out of his mind. You know, he probably didn't think about it until afterwards. Because obviously, if you didn't know or you really didn't give a fuck, because, you know, your narcissism and your wealth has you believing, you know, in false realities, girl, that you can do what you want to do. So maybe you did know the cameras were there. You just didn't give a fuck. Or let's just say you didn't know, right? You doing all of that. What if Cassie was smart enough to go downstairs and say, girl, I need a copy of this. Or maybe Cassie found the copy later on. I don't know. I just know that everything that we're seeing is being triggered by Cassie herself. But like I said before, Mama's smart because there's no direct anything linking her to anything. Imagine you do that kind of stuff to someone, girl. Imagine. And then I feel like it's the ghost of, uh, of Christmas past, girl, hello, God, uh, present and future, bitch, that's getting your ass together to all the things that you've done throughout your career to people, to your artists, to other women, to these men, allegedly, you know, all of the things that we probably still haven't heard of. There are probably so many dark things. Imagine if it's this dark on this level. Imagine the filthier shit that has yet to be released. Girl, that's the shit I be thinking about. And if you're looking at the way that he almost killed this woman in, in that hotel hallway, because that's what that was. That was attempted murder. Again, any one of those blows could have ended that girl's life. Um, I, I just, there's more. There's more. Hashtag, there's more. <laughs> Trust and believe it. Um, we just need the right people to come forward and, and truly tell it all. And I hope we're not just raiding the surface levels of his compounds. Um, Diddy is a smart man, too. And I'm guessing his grooming mentors that also groomed him up to be the filth that he is today probably taught him to put things in other people's names so that things can't just be directly linked to him. So um, we need to be checking those kids' names. Do they have properties in their names? Ex-wives, Kim Porter, everybody, girl. I, we need to be looking around. I guarantee you there's a dungeon somewhere. I guarantee you there's a dungeon, a warehouse, a shipping container somewhere. Because now that I think about it, remember Sean John Clothing was also linked with a lot of other uh, grand designers back in the day for having those sweatshop warehouses that burned down in South America. 
killing all of those uh, men, women, and children. They tried to cover that up. Girl, it was Sean John. It was a whole bunch of other designers too. I can't name off the head, but I know Sean John was part of that. That's why I stopped buying his stuff. Cause let's be honest, Sean John used to be having some cute stuff. They had a cute little era of fashion for the boys, honey. And I was here for it. So no fucking lie. You know, I was buying that shit during that. But once I heard that, I was really deep into fashion back then. Oh, I stopped fucking with all of the brands that was in, involved in that foolishness and that cover up. I stopped fucking with them. Mm hmm. So I don't know. For, um, we, we know that fashion has been heavily linked to human trafficking, sex trafficking, all of that things, child trafficking, all that shit. So for all we know, him getting into, into fashion and even liquor, it requires import-export, which again are heavy um, hubs and uh, links to human trafficking, girl. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if you know that was tied to him as well. There's a dark world that a lot of these people are a part of. And again, I don't think our focus should just be Diddy. It should be who he's been linked to for the past 30 fucking years. We need to be looking at the people that we don't know. The people that we're not aware of. And I hate to say it, it's mostly going to be white people. These white men, you don't even know who they are. I keep saying that. There won't be any real like on the surface evidence to, to link because these white men are very rich and powerful and they're very smart. But like I always say, at some point in life, what uh, girl what stays in the dark eventually does come to the light. Y'all be thinking there's some cliche shit out here, right? No, girl, that's very real tea. <laughs> you, we see it all the time. Oh, wow. All these years, Harvey Weinstein was getting away with this. All these years, um, what's that? Um, the Jello guy. Girl, he was getting away with the fears. R. Kelly, eventually, you know, Donald Trump, eventually, uh, the white man, Jeffrey Epstein, girl, <clears throat> eventually, the tea comes out. And we find out that there's it's deeper than the surface. But a lot of times, the rich and powerful have a way to sway and manipulate because we, we know you have judges on your team. We know you got private investigators and, and police and law enforcement on your team. So no one's going to try to really dig that deep because they're on payroll. And they're also scared. Like if I go deeper, deeper and deeper, girl, hello, God, I could lose my life over the evidence that I find or that I bring to light. And here's a message to Cassie. If this truly is you, I really do hope that you have security armed security. I really hope that you're protecting yourself because if this does go down the road of conspiracy that I think it is these people to protect themselves if they think you know anything they're going to try to come and get you and all these other people out here doing these interviews and things of that nature I'm proud of y'all for speaking up and speaking out but I need to let y'all know remember what happened to Big and Pac remember what happened to a lot of other people that Diddy has been associated with they make it look like Kim Porter, hello God, they make it look like accidents or natural deaths. But girl, I'm telling you right now, it could be because they've commanded it. Hello. Okay. Again, shout out to Cassie. Shout out to all the girls out here telling their stories, but I do want y'all to be safe. Okay, girl. And, and let's, let's go ahead and proceed. Shall I proceed? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Bitch. Anyway, let me get in here and work out. Y'all be blessed and never stressed. Drop that in the comments. Let me know your thoughts, girl. Hello, God. Um, and remember that health is truly wealth. Take care. Bye.